Ecologix revamps five different biomes with a completely vanilla approach so it doesn't feel like it's too game changing. The first biome we're going to cover is the beach where you'll find coconut trees, coconut crabs, seashells, and if you try hard enough, you'll even find a tropical themed music disc. The coconut trees obviously grow coconuts that can be harvested with an axe, but you can also wait for them to fall to the ground when they are fully grown. And these coconuts will split and drop into two slices that have the same effect as a milk bucket. Occasionally coconuts fall and spawn a coconut crab carrying a coconut on their back that can be broken to drop two more coconut slices. You can also slay them to pick up a crab claw to be cooked or even used as a pair of shears. Seashells now spawn across the beach, which are used to create sandcastles that can be placed on top of a turtle egg to protect them from mobs. Now we're moving on to the desert biomes and you'll come across brand new ruined structures to explore that will have new looting pots. These pots contain loot that can only be seen by breaking them and they can also be chiseled by shift and right clicking them with a pickaxe to cycle through the different designs. And for all you redstone lovers, if you attach a comparator to the pot, it will emit a redstone signal equal to the number of items inside, along with emitting a one tick signal each time you place an item inside. Throughout the desert, you will also notice cacti now grow prickly pears on top that can be cooked and eaten or even used to breed camels. Up next, we're covering the plains where you'll find new walnut trees that drop walnuts. You can choose to eat these walnuts or you can feed them to the new squirrels found in the plains to build trust. When squirrels fully trust you, they will pick up and plant saplings nearby and they can also be bred with honeycomb if they trust you enough. And other than that, not much has changed in the plains biome, but it definitely gives a little more life and gives you a few more things to do here. Moving on to the snow and ice biomes, you will now find penguins huddled together. When you get close enough, you're going to be granted with a regen effect and the penguins can be bred with fish, which will cause them to lay an egg. They will hold this egg at their feet until it's ready to hatch, but when baby penguins finish growing into adults, they will shed some feathers that can be brewed into a potion of sliding. And this potion will cause you to slide on any block like it's ice. Throughout frozen bodies of water, you will find thin ice now that will crack the first time you jump on it. And if you stepped on a cracked thin ice, it will break. And we also get some new snow and ice bricks to build with that look pretty nice. And the final biome we have is the lush caves. Inside these caves, you'll notice the trees no longer have oak logs, but instead have azalea and flowering azalea logs. These new logs can be crafted into planks to make different building blocks that look absolutely amazing. And the flowering azalea logs, leaves, and bushes can now be sheared to obtain a new azalea flower used for decoration. And the ground of these lush caves are now coated in surface moss that can be stacked up multiple times, increasing the amount of moss with each layer. That is going to wrap up this mod review. If you want to check out the mod for yourself, I'll have a link to the mod page down in the description. Thank you for watching the video if you made it this far, and I will see you in the next one.